In this short video, we'll share our top tips on how best to Freegal. Have a look at our other videos on how to offer or find an item on Freegal. Everything listed on Freegal must be free and legal. Freegal is only for giving away physical goods. You can't list services or ask to borrow things. Different Freegal groups have different rules on what you can offer and ask for. Useful to bear in mind if you're a member of a few groups. You can offer broken items. Someone may be able to fix them or use them for parts. Make sure to mention it's broken. Be polite. Reply to messages quickly and let people know if you can't make it to a handover you've arranged. It's a good idea to swap phone numbers. If someone's giving you an item, the normal rule is that you will go and collect it. It's a bonus if the giver is willing to meet you somewhere more convenient, but don't expect it. If you've offered an item and lots of people respond, how do you choose someone? Well, it's entirely up to you. You could give it to whoever's nearest to you, or whoever can come the soonest if you need it rehoming quickly. If it's bulky, you might choose a person who has a means of transporting it, or you might find someone has a compelling reason for wanting your item. Sometimes it's hard to find a handover time that suits you both. Leaving the item in the garden or at the door can help. If you ask for a bulky item on Freegal, make sure you have a way of moving it. Be safe. Don't put yourself at any risk when collecting or giving items. Avoid scams. No one should ever ask you to pay for an item on Freegal. Never pay any delivery fees. If someone asks for a courier fee to send you an item, it's a scam. However, if you're giving away an item and the recipient can't collect it, they might offer to pay your petrol for bringing it to them. That's okay. And finally, here's a few facts you might know about Freegal. Fact one, it's run entirely by volunteers. Most volunteers are moderators for local groups. They help new people join, answer questions, and keep an eye on what's being posted in their group. Other volunteers help by publicizing Freegal in their area, running stalls and events, or looking after social media for their group. Most roles can be done from home, so it's a great way to volunteer if you can't get out and about easily. Contact your local group to find out what help they might need. Fact 2. Freegal is funded by donations from users and also some online ads. It's easy to make a donation. Go to ilovefreegal.org forward slash donate. Click the donate link on the Freegal website or app, or use the donate option after you've posted on Freegal. Fact 3. Most Freegal groups have listings of local community events. It's free to add your event, but a donation to Freegal would always be nice. You can also list volunteer opportunities if you need more help, perhaps for a group you belong to. And there's a news tab for general local chatter advice. You can even get event and volunteer listings sent straight to your inbox. Check they're turned on in the settings.